is. Do you reckon that's, that's what it is? Good fan base, good fan base. That is what it is, yeah, definitely. And we're on board with Gaza here. And as we can see, he's pushing straight towards the map. He is going to be the player first in contact. And can he draw first blood for his side? He cannot. He does go down. And kool now is in the hill, picking up teams, picking up points for this Arctic squad. And straight away, they are the team who's out slaying, but they are off spawn. What can they do here to fix that? Well, you know, they're getting a nice early lead here, and this hill's obviously a contested one usually. But 20 point lead, that's quite nice. If they can push on, get the spawns, they've got a good opportunity to probably run away with this one. Definitely so, and just hopping on with Milkshake, he is just sitting at the back holding them spawns. But we'll hop over with Woody now, as he is the man in the hill. He does get gunned down by the Virgin, and right now, this is looking very dangerous if you are a Lizo fan, simply because. Artif came out of this one, they've looked so strong, they've looked like a completely different team coming into this game. Yeah, you know what Artif did, it wasn't like they performed really bad in the uplink, it was just really unfortunate that Ganser was there to make so many plays. But you know, now, now we're seeing them, you know, Woody here, he's on a two kill streak in the hill. We're just, we're seeing this Arctic team compete, that's what we're seeing right now. Gazza is only 3-3 three and three in this game. Right now, Hazza looks like your player to watch, sitting at 5-4. and four, But we've also got Magma on the side of Arctic, who is 5-3, and three, picking up some big kills for his side. Yeah, and, you know, Gazza was on a free kill streak, been shut down, now 4-4. Four and four. And, I mean, this is going to be a close game once again. Arctic obviously won the first hard point, and they'll be looking to do the same here and force a game 5. And um, I think that's what everyone in the stream and what we want to see, a game five between these two uh, closely contested teams. Revergen there picking up two big kills in the hard point and picking up one just outside to take his streak to three. Now gunning one more down to take that to four. And there is one player from Arctic left around the hill and he rotated towards the mid map. Hopping ball with Jokus now who does pick up one but he gets gunned down. Hazard is now on a two streak in this hill sitting at seven and five. This game is very, very close right now. Uh, who's the player who could make an impact on this and potentially win their side of the game? Oh, we've got players on both teams. And obviously we saw Gaza perform extremely well on that up plane, but Milksick, he's also got it in him to perform well. And Hazza right now, and Reversion, fairly honest, it's the whole Liza roster has the potential to go off. I mean, obviously the Arctic team, they all have the potential as well, but right now, Liza got the lead. They've made the comeback and they might try and run away with it now. They've just slayed all four Lizo players out there. And right now, if you're Lizo, I think they've made a bad decision here. They they didn't rotate. It meant jo um, Jokers could pick up a double kill. And right now, they've potentially lost their side spawn simply because they didn't rotate early. I mean, yes, they have. And we're looking for players to, you know, start taking the game and taking control over the game. And, and right now, I mean... Unfortunately for Lizer, they're not spawning in, they're spawning out, and I mean, they're losing a lead because of it. On board with Magma now, and he does pick up this kill at the back, which is huge as it secures his tide. These spawns, but the kills are being traded out one for one right now, and it's interesting to see who will get control of this hill. But Magma going huge at the back of this hill, picking up one more, and right now, Arsic take the lead once again. On board with Magma on a free streak. Let's see if he can string any more kills together as this Lizo team looks to pinch in and, uh, and take this away from this Arctic lineup. Magma now on a five streak, 150 off streaks. And right now, I think he's got to start playing for those streaks. That would be so huge. Yeah, he's going. on a five streak and it would be huge for his team. So huge and it potentially. It would give them that extra buffer. Say if they were losing a hill, they could just streak it and and kill yeah, their team. Unfortunately, he does get shut down. But the thing is with Magma there, he gets the pick. And he's only 50 points off the streaks. And if I was him, I probably would have just slid into the hill, tried to get one of the streaks at least because one streak on this map can impact the game. Definitely so. I mean, obviously you got to use it at the right time in the right areas of the map. But this could this could have helped Arctic build their lead even more. Yeah, and it's it's been really good from both teams here. They're both competing well, and it's been a joy to watch. 
And right now there is only 20 points in this game. And as we see, Arctic are looking like they have control of this back barn hill for now. Yeah. Number three is the only one that could stop it. And this is Magma. He does just jump through the hill. And I don't think he saw Kool-Aid in the corner. And he gets gunned down in the back. I'm seeing Arctic spawn out here, and um, just in case any of you guys actually missed uh, previous games today or any of the uh, maps from this series, I'm going to actually uh, uh, put the link to our YouTube channel here in the stream so you guys can catch up from games you guys missed. And uh, yeah, we'll have them all up later tonight. Well, actually, probably not later tonight because we're up extremely late. Probably tomorrow sometime. Yeah, we should have them all up by tomorrow night, and like we said, we've seen some really exciting games, and... This is going to be one of them, I think. I mean, this game is so tight. And right now, we're seeing Magma on 18 kills currently leading. But Gaza is 17 and 14. And right now, this hill is just being traded. And that's not normally something you see on this barn hill. You normally see one team lock it down. But both teams are so heavily, heavily contested. And this is such a close game that... Yeah, we've no seen that a lot a today. I mean, teams were... We've seen two teams... Um both playing the game extremely well and no one can really get the spawns 100% for their team so it's just been a really close game between these two we've seen it time and time again with different teams today and uh, really we haven't had really any dominant performances other than the vortex game if i'll be honest with you and the virgin was just shredding right there in the middle of that map get shut down eventually we're now on board with magma let's see what he can do can he hold the side bowling spawns for his side right now that's what you're looking to do isn't it hold these bowling spawns rather than try to get the time on that other hill yeah and you obviously don't want to allow the team to get the whole time but if it comes down to it personally i'd be going for the next hill all day and just you know just leave the next hill if you can get a little bit of the time obviously that's key but right now the spawns for this bowling not bowling hill yeah well, baseball hill uh, it's crucial for this team and we see Revergen is absolutely shredding at the moment on a three streak. We'll see if he can keep stringing this together and uh, potentially get aside some points on this back baseball hill. Yeah, and it's been extremely uh, good to watch these players play. Gaz is not having as much of an impact as he did before, but he's still dropping 20 kills. So that's still some decent numbers from him. But this game's just so even. I don't think any player's really taken the uh, the game and taken control. It's just been just been contested the whole way through. Like you see, like you say, like um, no, you look at the scoreboard and no player is actually fully dominating this game or doing really bad. So it's good to see that every single player is sort of carrying their weight, and this is the reason why the game is so close. Oh yeah, I mean, there's four points in it right now. I mean, now it's an even game, and one of the reasons is because no one's really going off, but no one's really uh, dead weight for the teams either. So. We're just seeing an extremely close game and it's a fun one to watch and it's a fun one to cast, so. And right now we are hopping on board with Hazard who's 23 and 14. Currently on a five streak, looking to see if he can pick up a couple of these kills, working towards that Trinity rocket, of course. But he gets yeah, taken we've out seen Hazard time and time again. He was picking up for a, for a different team one time. I think he went on a 10 kill streak. He's got it in him. He can just turn up and go off. We haven't seen it much from recently, but he's currently 23 to 15, so he's having a pretty good game, to be honest. And there's another kill for Hazard. Looking at the top green area, if you can gun him down, that'd be a huge kill. Couldn't quite get the last bullet on him. Hopping over with Kulane, who was the guy in that top green area, and he is just looking to get some map control for his side right now. Shaky shots there, and eventually a gun down by Gaza. And it's looking as though Arctic do have these back spawns, but currently Lizo, 30 points in the lead. Is it important for uh, for Arctic to get a strong hold on this one? Yeah, Arctic need a strong hold because Lizo have just suddenly, you know, got away a little bit with the lead here. And that's a huge kill for Magma. That was pretty crucial. But unfortunately for their team, as you can see by the map, they're actually spawning out now. And Lizo are going to have the advantage here. Right now, it's down to Jokus to potentially break this hill. They all push in together, and he picks up one. One more around the corner, and he gets him as well. If he can get this back, man, which he does. And that is a huge three-piece from Jokus, and it allows his team to push up and get back towards that hill. Yeah, but unfortunately, he gets team killed, and I mean, it kind of counters out the play, but his team are still here, and 
They're not letting Lizo get all this time, and that's crucial because if Lizo start running away with it now, Arthur are going to have an extremely hard time getting back into it. Definitely. So, however, I reckon if if they can lock down this uh, this next hill, get some contest time, and then move into this baseball hill and control that, they are straight back in this game going into the uh, third rotation. Yeah, and this game is starting to uh, be wrapped up. As you guys can see, the time is saying 1 minute 13 seconds. We're pretty close to the end. And really, now it's just going to be all contested time. And it, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how it plays out. What's good to see right now is every single player has 20 kills and no one has 30. That just shows you how closely contested every single player in this lobby is right now. Yeah, and it really just goes to show the standards that this league has actually set. We've got a lot of talented players here, and it's extremely hard for one player to go off. So when they do, you've got to give them props and say, I mean, well played. You've done that against some extremely talented players. Right now, Omri for Virgin, and he picks up one. Looking to pick up a second going into this hill. And Lizo at 10 points away from taking this series. Yeah, and if Liza can wrap it up now, it'd be huge for their team. They they have the spawns as well, so I'm probably backing them to take this now. It needs seven points, and unfortunately for Arctic, no player is near. And, uh, I mean, Magma, he's the only player that has a chance. He's picked up one, but then been picked off, and this should be Liza's game. If you were in Arctic's situation there, though, you had to focus on that last hill, simply because if you didn't, they were going to win anyway. And as we see... They close it out there, so well played to Lizo Esports, taking the series. 3-1. That's Three absolutely to huge one. for Lizo. Now they're 2-1 on the season, they can look for the top six placing that they really need to get to get into these playoffs and get into the prize pool. Well played from Lizo. Unfortunately for Arctic, they're going to need to bounce back on Friday and try and get back to 500. Definitely so. And that wraps it up for today. I don't know if we're getting anyone in here for a quick interview or anything, but that's all think, the games. And I think we are going to get some of these. Um... Yeah, to uh, have a to quick have a interview.